the Georgia Bulldogs and the Old Miss Rebels getting after it. 3.30 Eastern, 12.30 Pacific on ABC Saturday afternoon. Game of the week in the SEC. It's 70 degrees. Look, does look like cloudy, humid, possible thunderstorms in Oxford, Mississippi. So, uh, hey, always a great time to watch a game in college football there in Oxford. You know, the Grove's likely to be rocking, but watch out there if you're heading to the game because uh, – some weather forecasts might get after you, but let's get after this from a betting perspective. Looking to see Georgia pretty much minus two and a hook as the road favorite across the board. As I'm talking Friday afternoon, 54 being the total. We have seen a tick down about a point totals wise. Some of that may be due to weather. So let's get after this head coaches getting after it. Former colleagues, Kirby Smart and Lane Kiffin in 2014, 2015 there. Getting, what, a national championship or two with Alabama under Nick Saban. This is the offensive coordinator from that time versus the defensive coordinator. Uh, so the two coaches knowing the schemes here. Getting down to the breakdown on the field, though, guys. Mississippi comes in 7-2 and two on the season. Georgia, 7-1. and one, But they're just 2-6 and six against the numbers. So Kirby Smart, you know, coming from that Nick Saban defensive-minded coaching tree, not really looking to run it up on their opponents. However, coming into this one under three as the uh, as the spread here, Georgia's 0-6, their last six as a favorite, but all but one of those was laying more than two touchdowns. So this is kind of a different type of profile, a handicap as a sports better. They don't necessarily have to run up the score here to cover this number. Likely if they win the game, they're going to, uh, you know, they just, just go over the numbers here by three or more points. Um, this is a team that's what I pretty much ran the table against all teams, not out, not named Alabama for multiple years. Now their quarterback, Carson Beck, he has struggled a little bit throwing interceptions. What three plus interceptions in two straight games. Don't remember that from a Georgia quarterback in quite some time. And Jackson Dart for Old Miss. Hey, he is a heck of a player there in the Lane Kiffin, uh, offensive coach system. However, Old Miss scoring, what's over 60 points against Arkansas last week, kind of getting that offense going. This is a different type of defense they're going to be facing, though, with the Georgia Bulldogs. This defense can really get after it, guys. And I think Old Miss might struggle a little bit offensively, plus the fact if there is a weather issue here in Oxford, I actually think that benefits the Georgia Bulldogs because they're going to look to, you know, keep it on the game, on the ground a little bit more, a little bit more ground and pound right at you. Um, all of that equal and up to guys. Hey, I think the Georgia Bulldogs, this number's a little bit short. I know Ole Miss, you know, hey, sometimes it gets rocking, can be a tough place to play, but uh, let's go with the Georgia Bulldogs, guys, for the pick on the video. Minus two and a half short road favorites. Rough, rough, rough. It's the Bulldogs, uh, minus two and a hook. I am Drew Martin, wagertalk.com. You can check out premium picks here. We got a five pick. Client slate going on Saturday, heavily discounted there, 4% best bet up and available for Saturday. So huge discount there. It's been a great run. What, 75%? Um, really cashing some tickets. Could go back to week two in college football. Um, been making some been making some money. So if you want to try it out, Saturday's a great day, guys. Discounted five-pick package up and available. Number one ranked football totals handicapper over the last four years if you're looking for more of that long-term trend drew martin experts page wagertalk.com we got the uh georgia bulldogs over the old miss rebels minus two and a hook so thanks for tuning in guys comment below let me know if you agree if you disagree smash that like button i'll be in the comments as well i read them all and uh Hey, even if you disagree, um, all is well, guys. So I'll be in there chiming in with you. Enjoy your Saturday. Cash those tickets. Thanks for tuning in.